Bonjour, chers lecteurs. J'ai le plaisir de vous présenter Andrew Farah, qui est l'ingénieur en chef pour la Volt 2016 chez GM. Donc, il me fait le plaisir de faire une entrevue avec lui. Hi, uh, Andrew. It's a great day today. Two new EVs, one concept and one is, which is the new Volt platform. And uh, so I have a few questions for our Canadian people. Um, My first question is, there's a mechanism that uh, when it's too cold, the engine, the ice engine starts to heat the cabin and the car, and it's at minus 10 degrees Celsius. On the new vault, is there going to be a colder setting than the actual vault? You know, for the new vault, it'll be about the same as it was. We've learned through uh, feedback from customers that they really are very interested not only in getting to where they're going electrically, but they want to be comfortable when they do it. Um, so making sure that the cabin is a warm place, even in the coldest weather and the coldest places, is still very important to most of our customers. Thank you, thank you. Uh, my other question is about the onboard charger. It's uh, basically the same. It's a little more, 3.6 kilowatts instead of 3.3 kilowatts. Most uh, public chargers in, in Quebec and Canada are 2D amps, and at home we have big uh, electrical entrance. So for us, it's e most everybody installs 2D amps uh, chargers. So why you're not offering, maybe as an option, a 6.6 onboard charger so it, it charges in two hours instead of 4.5, four and a half hours? The great thing as we develop the second generation Volt is we have all the customers from the first Volt and we can look at and understand their charging habits. As it turns out, more than half of the current owners are charging using 120 volt charging because that meets their needs. So we did make the onboard charger a little bit larger in the second generation so that the 240 volt charging time would still be about four and a half hours and that seems to be where customers want it to be today. About the battery capacity, it's a 18.4 kilowatt hour battery compared to 17.1 for the 2015 volt. Uh, on the 2015 volt, it's about 11.5, which you can use for preserving the battery degradation for a long time. What's the usage permitted on the 2016 volt? 15 kilowatts uh, hour? So we don't usually talk about that number. That'll come out later on as customers get into the car. But as you know, uh, saving some energy at the bottom, if you will, is not really about degradation. It's really about performance. With an extended range electric vehicle, even when the engine is running, you rely very heavily on the battery for acceleration. And so while you may dip back down into that, then you, you will replenish that as you're driving down the road with the Uh, with the extended range system. So it's really more about performance than it is about uh, durability. Perfect. Uh, Daniel, do you have a question? Yeah. Quand uh, t'es prêt? Ready. Hi, I'm Daniel Breton and I work with uh, Sylvain for Roulet Electric. I'm former Environment Minister of Quebec. Are you aware of the fact that 70% of the votes sold in Canada are sold in Quebec? I, I did know that it was uh, in the more southern area, yes. Yeah, and uh, I mean, We have 22% of the population of Canada, while, while we're sell, you're selling 70% of the volts in Quebec. So there's a big interest for the volts in Quebec. Um, you changed the engine. Yes, so could, you, could you tell us a bit about the new engine, performance-wise, uh, fuel economy-wise? Well, the most important thing about the new engine is uh, it's 1.5 liters, which is actually a little larger than yeah. the old one. And I get yeah. a lot of questions, why did you make the engine a little larger? The answer is actually for quietness. Okay. So, Given getting the same output from the new 1.5 liter engine, we can actually run it slower and get the same amount of power out compared to the current Volt, and, and that way we can help uh, control uh, the noise. One of the things that our customers have told us that they really like about the Volt is it's fun to drive, it's smooth, and it's quiet. And even once you've discharged the battery, they want to try to retain as much of that EV feeling as they can Uh, it's when, when they're operating on gasoline. And so having a slightly larger, high compression 
engine that also runs on regular fuel, which is very important. Change. Instead of super. That's right. Okay. And again, this is all based on feedback from our current customers, and we've made these improvements. So you didn't talk about fuel economy for the new engine. Is there more fuel economy with the new engine? The new, the new engine is uh, an improvement over in, in efficiency too. Our new fuel economy number we're projecting will be 41 uh, miles per gallon combined. Uh, highway City. I'm sorry, I can't do the conversion in my head fast. No, it's okay. But what was the the, the, the number in the miles was, per gallon before? It was 37 miles. 37. So miles basically, 10 percent better. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Another question that I have uh, is, uh, you made the look of the new Volt a bit more mainstream than the first one. Could you tell us about why the reasons why you decided to make it a little more mainstream? So again, um, you know, we do have a very uh, good customer base right now. We've got about 73,000 vehicles in the field, including Canada. And what we want to do, though, is expand beyond that. We want to give more people the opportunity to, to consider the Volt. And, and really, one of the first things, once you're past the technology, is, is it beautiful, right? Yeah. And of course, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Absolutely. But at the same time, being a little more contemporary, right, particularly on the interior, is something that, that we got feedback from our current customers. And then we, of course, do what we call clinics, where we take our early designs and we tried a number of futuristic, very futuristic ones, and we tried some of the more contemporary, and the ones that were more contemporary resonated much better. Um, as we, so again, as we try to expand and get more people to consider alternative propulsion, the first thing they have to do is have something that they feel has got the look they want. We think with the new Volt, we've achieved that. Has anybody told you that it looks a bit like a Honda Civic? No. Uh, Five-seater now? Yes, five seats. So I guess it was from the, the, the people that drive Volts that told you maybe a, a third row, back row seat would be better? Well, what they said was they'd really like, uh, even though, if, even if they had a small family, they said they've had, you know, situations where having that fifth seat to bring the, the neighborhood kid home from the, the soccer game mm -hmm. or, you know, a quick run to the store with another person in the car, um, they, they knew that they, the car wasn't going to get significantly larger, and it didn't. But to have the opportunity to use that fifth seat when you needed it was something that they really wanted to have. And yet, you wanted to keep it as a hatchback. Right, because again, the utility, the ability to, when you want to haul some things around, right, put down the seats, and there's a lot of cargo space back there. Okay, well, thanks a lot. You're welcome. <clears throat>